this is you're doing it right. So the lowest note is, does it say 37? Looks like 36. Let me. What? Oh, okay. The scaling is weird. Right, what is this? Is this it? This is the track, yeah. It's around 30. What is this? It's hard to say. What it's like, it's I said around 40, 35. I said what I said. 36 is a D. Okay. 61 B1, uh-huh. 52 hertz, and then 42 hertz. So those are the three notes. Yeah. yeah. 60. Wait, say that again. 61. 61. 55. 50. Yay. And uh-huh. 44. 44. 61, 55, 44. Yeah, I wonder if those uh those guys who just listen, if wonder if they could have just told us those numbers. Nah, they probably could, right? They could just tell us. Like they just listen. Yeah. yeah. But so here's the cool thing about and this, right? Go, and they go like this. Oh yeah, that note. Yeah, it was boom. Yeah. <laughs> boom. <Kinda> like, <laughs> boom. Boom. I like with this though. You can tell like all right. So the 41 hertz is louder than uh-huh. 53. 53 is. It says negative 12. 62 is negative nine. So these two, there's three decibels difference. And then this one is negative. It says 18. That can't be right. Oh, about negative eight. Mm. Actually, that's 39 hertz. The, low, the lowest one seems like the most violent. Yeah, no, the 39 hertz is the lowest one. I guess 39 I'll, hertz is the lowest one? 39 hertz, yeah. I'd have to zoom in on this stupid thing to tell for sure. You know, so I've found that in a lot of systems around 70, there can be nulls in the response around 70 ish oh, yeah. in the home system. And so that's where I'm talking about like that last note that you hear up there, that you're supposed yeah. to hear. Sometimes you don't hear that as well as you should. Right. Yeah. You know? So Aaron, when we're listening to um, speech at um, Axpona and we played the song and that low one doesn't hit, we'd be like, she can't go down to 39, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> what are y'all doing here? I don't even yeah. want to talk about this. You barely, I barely hear the 44 with any kind of emphasis. Yeah, what, man. What is up? What are these? 10,000 a pair? <laughs> Garbage. See Seriously, see y'all can't hit 63 hertz. And then y'all don't even have three dBs of attenuation for the next one, which is 54 or 53 hertz, by the way. Weak. Have you so you see that little uh that little notch around 70 way. hertz? What? Sorry. That little bump. That little bump up at seventy hertz. Yeah, that one. And that's and then that's the part um, where you kind of hear like a higher frequency. Ding, ding. Yeah. yeah. And you may not hear that if, depending on your system. Yeah. Yeah. Then, then you got oh. these guys. These guys. I mean, they're really tight. Yeah. I mean, yeah. There, there are some. There are some higher notes. Yeah. I mean, I, so I'm zoomed in on. I try to zoom in just in the window where it's at, and I'm sure oh. I got some. I had to get some other stuff with it too. Oh, sure. It's not the whole song. This is just probably like a maybe a five or six second window. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Audacity, cool. man. I love using it. Oh, you can do that in Audacity? Yeah, yeah. I'll show you real fast. Um, yeah. the audacity of this software. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> I, I just you went to that. YouTube and I down- I did a YouTube ripper for it because I don't have it on this computer. But I, so I downloaded mm-hmm. the MP3. Pirate R. Yeah, 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 right. Ripper and then, R. Loaded. Hey man, I have like five different versions of this stupid CD, and the one version that I have on this computer, we find oh, it. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I can't bring it into Audacity. The car is built like right. a Ever Bonnie will world. be dancing. That the mirrors do not shake when the music is cranked. It's crazy good. I spent two years researching this car. Needed to have the BNO system. Yeah. Let's what see. I will read. Neighbor lives approximately 500 yards away. He can feel the bass in my car when I drive it. Dude. <laughs> what? Okay, so yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. So I played it back. That's a mm-hmm. clap, and there's a bass drop right, right in there. Cool mess. So I'm, I'm usually looking around like 40 seconds. Yeah. So, so well, all you got to do is you just go and highlight like the area that uh, you're interested in. Uh, okay. And then, and then you go up here is to analyze and then do uh, plot spectrum. No way. Yeah. And then it'll That's tell you what crazy. it is. I didn't know you could just do that so easy. Yeah. So if you want to see what else is going on, then you can go analyze plot huh. spectrum. Huh. Hey, they sure have some be. AI separating things in there too now, Chana. And audacity. Oh, yeah. I saw yeah. this new thing. Ripper X or something. Uh, Let me see. It's a new DAW. They're they're and uh, but uh, it looks pretty pretty crazy. I'm gonna find something else. This is kind of cool. Like I would like to see what the um, 
the response of that Dolby Amaze, uh, Amaze demo. Yeah. Like what frequency is that and what level? I knew you. As soon as you said Dolby, I'm like, yeah, Amaze. Yeah. You yeah. Wanna I want to know what level and what frequency that that bass drop is. Let me find something. Uh, oh, it's my disc. Chat. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, uh, I think my Bing and Olufsen was the 23 speakers, 1900 watts um, in my Q7. It was uh, what, like a five thousand dollar option? Well, what is that? Like two hundred a month, if that? Not even that. So I thought it was a good deal. Mm-hmm. Nice. And then the tweeters like pop up from the dash. It's pretty, pretty sexy. You know, it's pretty cool. Had I had a Q5 as well. Had a few of those. Amazed them. I can't get it. all all the tracks that I do have are like high res on on this computer, so. They won't it's it's too, too high res for audacity. They are for real. They're DSF files and stuff like that. Oh, oh yeah, DSF. Yeah, it's like no, nah, I don't think so. DSF. That's honest. um, what do you call it? What was that stuff called? Oh, DS. Um, god damn, high res audio. Oh, yeah, DSD cool. stuff like that. DSD. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, DSD. Hey, I just learned this new thing where you can just import a file into Audacity. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. That's pretty neat, I, I man. It yeah. Hey, do you mind showing us how you do that though? Because I don't. Yeah, I don't dude, it's crazy. So I just threw in the Amaze demo here, and it's crazy because it shows all the different tracks. Oh, well, wow, that's, that's awesome. Point one, right? Oh, I don't so. know which one the LFE is, but I bet you I can guess. Um, mm, I, I think I know probably this guy, guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> the one that has nothing else in it except for like. When the thunder hits, yeah, exactly. But you know what's interesting? It's in in the other ones too. When you ask, like, is are the is the bass in the other freak in the other channels? So usually yeah, it's like one, two is left, so they're not putting it in the left. Uh-huh. Three is usually center, so not this it's is when the thunder yeah. hits. But look at it's in the other ones too. Six, seven. That's oh, usually like uh, these are usually your surround speakers. Well, you know, right? but this is definitely LFB right here. No, that's so this is what happened. When, so I go here and then I go to uh, where do I go? Again? Oh, where see. do I go? Again? Um, I'm not helping you, man. Analyze, I go to analyze. What is that? You go to plot spectrum. <laughs> spectrum. Okay, how do I 50 hertz? How do I? How do I? Uh, no, 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 you got this. No, you got this. <laughs> Uh, you being left high and dry, Joe. Just go I, like uh, the size, and increase the size. That drop down, click size drop. Oh, you were there. Uh, the four bot- buttons at the toward the bottom. I'm pointing on my screen like you can see me pointing. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Go to the next one. Doesn't work, Aaron. <laughs> go to I'm the right. On everything. Now. All right. There you go. Click that. Size. Ten twenty four. It says ten twenty four. Click that. <laughs> Jesus. Click it. 1024. Click it. I am on 1024. Click it. I did. <laughs> Why not? It? Click it. Now click what? The drop down. It should give you options. Oh, it's not, it's, I, the drop down showed, but it's not showing it on the screen. Okay. 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 Then okay. go to like 32 or something. 32,000. 32,000. Ah, there you go. There you go. You what probably is- don't have to go that high, but if you want tight resolution. Hertz. Look at this. Two hertz, three hertz. How about if I go to thirteen thousand? No yeah, way. Zero is hertz. For real? Is that is that the is that the brown note? That's just straight zero. DC. <laughs> That's what that note is. That when they play that, because it Ooh. shakes the crap out of everything. Yeah. Look at look at all that. Where's the main peak at forty? They have. I mean, look at the what. So some of those are like thirty dB. Well, no, actually, because in on in average, that's like what mega. My, uh, 30 dB down on average, just ballpark looking at it. But look at that one around four hertz, three, four hertz there area. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. That dude's a heck of a peak. So this is crazy. I can't believe that they're playing sound all the way down to DC. So we're talking about the Amaze demo if you're just tuning in. Yeah. And this is, we zoomed in on the part where the, not the part where it says like, I don't know. It says bass you can feel or something like that. Huh? Powerful bass, yeah. Powerful bass you can feel. Yeah. Powerful bass you can feel. When it hits that note, this is what we're looking at right here. 
So 20 hertz, easy. Easy. And some. So that's cool. That's crazy. Greater definition, full 360 sound. And then, uh, sound sent to here, and he says correctly, if it's 30 dB down, that's actually 20 oh. down because LFE gets a plus 10 dB boost. That's cool. Holy crap. Okay. That's enough of that. That's wow. a cool toy to have, man. I, I use that, that a lot. Dude. I use that a lot when I'm listening to stuff, and if I hear something, something I'm like, like I know that I hear it, but I don't know what it is, then I'll bring up Audacity play that portion of the song and zoom in on it. I'm like, oh, there it is. What well, is here's our plan? What is our plan for Expona? Are we going to do a binaural recording of like the most expensive speakers and play that track in every room and then just stitch it together? <laughs> See how all these expensive ass systems or speakers yep. like handled the, that one track? Would that, would that be an interesting video? Is that something you guys would want to watch? See, you can do that. I think the best way to do it, though, is just to take a cup of water into every room and then set it down and play and see if it does the Jurassic, Jurassic Park effect. Park thing. Yeah. <laughs> I love this guy. I love this guy. And, and this, this is interesting. Also, uh, Reverend Slim and I have talked about this before. Um, but when people ask, like, oh, do I need, you know, this size speaker for my rear surrounds? There's no real content below this and this. Well, this particular track is playing. This is a, one of the surround channels. So oh, wow. it's not just in the LFE. It is also duplicated. That's why I think it sounds so loud. Like I, I always wonder why that one sounds so loud compared to the others. And it's not, you know, uh, when you're doing Atmos, like when we do Atmos, you have a certain amount of uh, content that you can put in LFE, right? Certain level before it's too high. But if you duplicate that and you put it also in all the other speakers, mm. <laughs> now well, you have, I mean, you know how you were as you were saying, you know that that's the base hit. Go back to the other screen or just remove this window. Okay. Um, you know in logic, you know, in that bed track, I can send a base hit or whatever to yeah. LFE. I can assign it to LFE and all 7.712 speakers too. But here's the trick though. Here's the trick. When you're using base management, let's say if you're using speakers that are crossover at 80 hertz, so you're sending LFE like a lot of signal, right? Yeah. Yeah. But then whatever can't be played from the other speakers are also going down there. <laughs> it also gets sent yeah, to the LFE. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's almost like the double bass. It's double bass, but it's like times like on this, it's showing on all the surround channels. I don't even know. They might be sending it to the heights also. I can't see with this. Yeah, um, it, I think that's what uh Jeremy's saying. But they're putting uh, that in every channel. Imagine that summed with the LFE. Yeah, exactly. Nuts. Yeah. Anyway. All right. If you would like to join us every week on Mondays at, what time is it? About 6 p.m. Central, which is the best time. That's where I am. Make sure you join us at youtube.com slash daily high five. We out. We out.